Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So I have a reader question here. Should I wait for the Nikon D800 or buy the Nikon D7000 mainly for filming? That's from Sneakybox and that's from uh, on YouTube. So basically D800, D7000. I guess this is a tricky question. When you're saying filming, I'm assuming you're doing, you're doing video, not uh, as concerned with photography when you say the word filming. Um, for video, uh, we don't know what the Nikon D800 is going to have. Presumably, it will be better than the D7000, but that's presumably because the D800 has not been announced. We don't have any true specs on it other than speculation, and we don't have any uh, really hard facts on the D800. The other big thing is we have no idea when the D800 is coming. So it depends on how, how long you can wait. If you are okay to wait till end of the year or possibly even into next year, then you know maybe you want to do that. My suggestion would probably be if you want to get going on stuff, and I mean it's better to get out shooting now with a camera that we do know is out there and do work and, and we know works very well, and that would be the D7000. So my suggestion for you would be to grab a Nikon D7000. It's available. It's a great camera for filming on the Nikon side of things. And um, you can get to work, get doing some filming with it. And if you decide you want the D800, you can either keep the 7000 as a backup body or you can move over to uh, the D800 and sell your 7000, probably for very little loss as it's still a very hot camera and will be probably at the end of the year and even in the coming uh, new year in 2012. So that would be my answer for you there. It's just basically a time thing and my suggestion because we have no idea for, for reality when the D800 is coming or will be announced to get going with the D7000. Thanks for your question. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back with some new video posts, some new articles, and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at ArtOfTheImage.com. Thanks.